When COVID hit, Matt and Savannah Shaw decided to sing a song, The Prayer. Has anyone heard it on the internet? I was looking at Bocelli, his song of the prayer, and I saw that as soon as they posted it, because YouTube flashed it to me. And I just told them today, I'm so thrilled they're here. I know I have 5,000 views. <laughs> What is your mission statement? Share hope, spread joy. Share hope, spread joy. And that's what I was looking for, hope and joy in a bed. And that's what I found with a father looking tenderly at his daughter, so proud, sharing magnificent talents. And so I said, Kevin, find them and get them here. <laughs> it is just a dream come true. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited for you to hear them. To the Shahs, I would say both of these artists not only sing, they heal. And we love them and we're grateful they're here. So without any ado, we're excited to hear from the Shahs. So, uh, my name's Matt. Hello. This is my daughter. And I know some of you, uh, are, we have some new faces tonight. So, um, and I know we have some people joining us online. So, if it's okay with you, I know we shared a little bit of our story this morning, but if it's okay, we, we'd love to kind of share how this happened to us. Is that okay if we go into our story? Yeah. story is that it was a complete accident. Like, the fact that we're here today, 
Yeah. They never planned for this. No. <laughs> totally. Um, I grew up very, very shy. I was not confident at all. Um, you know, I was the girl in high school that like sat in the back of the classroom and no one knew my name, no one knew I was there, didn't raise my hand, like nothing. Um, and, you know, I always loved to sing. I always had music in my life, um, but I was just never brave enough to share that. Um, and it was, I think it was 2019, um, that my grandparents showed up at my house with a flyer for a children's choir. Um, and they said, hey, I think you should audition for this. I take the flyer, I'm like, thanks. Like, I'm not gonna do that, that's not me. Um, and after a lot of convincing mm -hmm. my parents and my grandparents, I finally auditioned for this choir and it changed my life. Um, you know, I was surrounded by people every week that had similar passions and it was just so uplifting. Everyone um, was so supportive of each other and I made some of my best friends in that choir. Um, and then COVID hit. <laughs> and all of our practices were canceled and I wanted a way to keep in touch with these friends through music. So I started my very first social media account um, to hopefully film some videos to share with my friends. Um, and knowing me, like I've already told you guys about how I was super shy and everything, um, I was not gonna post a video by myself. No way. Um, and my dad was outside doing yard work, he was, like mowing the lawn or something, and I came outside and said, hey. So um, I started a social media account and I need to post something. Uh, do you wanna be in a video with me? Um, and we filmed the prayer, that was the first song we did, um, because I felt like that was a message that really resonated with me during that time, um, and that was just a message that I wanted to put out into the world, and my dad posted it on Facebook because we had family members that were on Instagram, and then it started getting viewed and shared a lot. <laughs> um, and I remember you coming upstairs to my room and showing me that the video had 3,000 views. <laughs> it blew my mind. Like, 2,000 views? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you know it kept on growing, and we just decided to, to keep on keep on doing music. Yeah, there was so much, as everyone knows. I know we talked about it a lot, but at the time there was so much anxiety and uncertainty, and and frankly fear, just real fear. And um, and so we we thought this song just had the perfect message to share, one of hope. And um, I feel like we need that message today just as much as we did then. So we'd like to share that song with you now. This is a prayer.
experience for us is receiving these messages from people all over the world um, about how the music uh, heals healed them and um, it just music is so so powerful and hearing those messages uh, for us it uh, it inspired us to maybe think that this could be a thing for us that um, you know, the, the impact that we were having, and um, we, we knew nothing about the music industry. And I mean, it's a scary place, right, Alex? This, it is a long, long west. And we, we had no idea what we were doing, and we were terrified. But uh, we thought, you know, maybe maybe we could, we could give this a go. Yeah, um, we actually wrote a song about our journey a little bit, um, and one of the lyrics in that song is, what if all it takes is a moment believing? Um, and you know, it was so, so scary for us, um, kind of being thrown into something we were not prepared for, <laughs> or expecting, um, but you know, it's been such a good thing for us, and I'm so glad that we, we took that jump, um, and that's what this next song is all about, so this is Picture This. Never thought I'd be that person Too afraid to chase after their dreams After a while I stopped looking Beyond all the things right in front of me You came and helped me to open my eyes To things I had missed all You think the whole thing is
You know, we've talked a lot about really big moments in our life that um, shape us to be who we are. But I think the older I get, the more I realize that some of the most impactful things in my life aren't the big moments. A lot of the time it's just it's the small things and, um, you know, the most simple memories. And one of those for me um, are some of my memories from when I was a kid. My dad would take me out on daddy-daughter dates all the time. Um, and where we live in Caseville, we have a dollar theater. Um, and then Woo! a little ice cream shop. Yes, you know the yeah, you know. theater. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, Case Billions. Case Billions. And then there's a little ice cream shop on the corner. And, you know, my dad would take me there all the time. And we would always get strawberry ice cream. And, um, you know, I this next song is just about some of my childhood memories and um, you know also some memories that we have as a family that are so important to us and that mean so much to us. So yeah, so it's it's not always the big gestures. It's not always the huge things that we do. Sometimes it's just the small and the simple things. Sometimes it's the strawberry ice cream. <laughs>
next song, uh, we wanted to dedicate to you. Uh, we haven't been able to spend a ton of time um, here, but the, the time that we've had has been really impactful. Um, I got to spend some time this morning hearing some stories and, uh, and, and hearing people be vulnerable. And um, I think when we're vulnerable, um, it, it, it allows other people the space to also be vulnerable. And because of you, I know so many people here will leave for the better. So thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you be, for being open to hearing others and for sharing your own. I know because of all of you, we will leave here. Changed for good. Changed <laughs> for good. The song is, what's right? How do I get to for good? <laughs> What's the next song? It's for good. i
so much love in the room. Can we, can we do this again? Um, you know, there, there. I, I, I think we all have been through times um, like this. But I, I know for me, there have been um, plenty of times in my life where it's just felt chaotic, like it's, and sometimes completely out of control um, for me. And um, sometimes it feels like it's a, a complete disaster. Uh, but I, you know, time has a funny way of giving us some perspective, I think. And um, what in the moment may feel like a complete disaster with a little bit of time and a little bit of perspective, uh, you can actually see that it was, it was, it was really a beautiful work of art in, in progress. And um, I know for me sometimes some of my biggest trials have turned into some of my biggest successes when I believed. This next song is called When You Believe. Many nights we've prayed with no proof anyone could hear In our hearts a hopeful song we barely now we are not afraid, although we know there's much to fear. We were moving mountains long before we knew we could. There can be
best audience we've ever had. So <laughs> so yeah, I think this is, I think this is the best audience. I feel like what I want to do is I just want to take you guys with us when we go on tour. So you guys can take five minutes up. <laughs> individual lullaby. Um, mine was a little bit different than my brother's. I want my dad explain that, actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well this is not going to be as touching as you might imagine. <laughs> um, see, the boys and the girls get different lullabies in my house, and so I'll share <laughs> this. You, you're going to think I'm the worst parent. <laughs> um, I, I have to say, it's not my fault. See, this this lullaby for the boys has been handed down for generations. So this is, we're going on the third generation here. Has anyone heard the song, Mr. Johnny Rebeck? Anybody? No? Okay, well, I'll have to sing it. sing it for you. It's not impressive. This is the lullaby that, that my boys go, oh God, it goes like this. Oh, Mr. Johnny Rebeck, how could you be so mean? I told you you'd be sorry for inventing that machine. Now all the neighbors, cats and dogs, will never more be seen. They've all been ground to sausages in Johnny Rebecca's machine. Good night, I love you so much. <laughs> One day the darn thing busted, the darn thing wouldn't go. So Johnny Rebeck climbed inside to see what made it so. His wife was walking, walking in her sleep. She gave the crank a heck of a yank, and Johnny Rebeck was me. Good night, I love you so much. And so, um, so now my boys, they, they don't sing. My girls sing. But uh, the, the lullaby that the girls, this is so bad. I'm, just, I'm processing this right now. I'm explaining this. And story. they don't eat sausage. Uh, no, the, kid, the, the boys don't eat sausage. Uh, the girls' lullaby uh, is actually one of my favorite songs of all time. I love this song because it tells the story of a parent and a child. And I think, it, you know, any parent or any child, um, from both perspectives, can, can understand. Um, this story, you know, it's, it's, it's about the parents desire for their children to grow up and to ultimately leave the nest and, and, and go experience life and um, find their, their identity and become their real self and to um, make mistakes, learn from their mistakes and, and celebrate their successes. Um, but ultimately, it's the parents wish that no matter uh, I'm pulling an Alex here. <laughs> Ultimately, it's, it's the parents' wish that no matter where their children go, they will always find a home in the hearts of their parents. Mm. This song is called Homework Back. the 
types of experiences, um, may we turn to those who are weak and say to them, you will be found. Strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach. 
reach out your hands and Savannah. Hey Savannah, will you come here for just one second? So at the very beginning of your message, you said that you found choir, right? Yes. And that just lifted you up. And that was your thing. And then what happened? I was able to Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then who did you find after that to help you? Oh, my dad. Your dad. <laughs> Look what that's done. How how has your dad? Why did you choose him, and how has he impacted your life? That is a good question. Um, I think you guys can tell just from 
you know, what I've said throughout the show, just that um, my dad provided the best childhood for us. You know, I think um, my parents are so good at being our best friends. Like, they are just there for us. Um, and I've always known that if I need anything, if I need to talk about anything, I go to my parents. Um, so I think when I was feeling that insecurity, when I was feeling nervous, um, automatically the first person I thought to go to in my mind was my dad, because that's the type of relationship that he has created along with my mom. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.